Hello, welcome back. I'm Dr. Adam Rosen, an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in total knee replacements. I've talked to you a lot about what a knee replacement is and how you can get a good outcome. Uh, if you're not aware, all of that information um, I put in the book that I published last year called The Knee Book, and this gives you a, a great resource in easy to understand language that tells you everything that you want to know about your knee, when you might need surgery, and how to get a good outcome. But another major thing that we can't control sometimes is biology. And one of the things that we worry about is strength, so muscle strength. And you may have heard me talk about this before in the how your back is like your knee uh, video where we know about the core. Most people have had back pain or know somebody with back pain. And we know that we have to strengthen the core muscles, those muscles in our back and our stomach to stabilize the spine. Well, the quadriceps or your thigh muscle is one of the core muscles of your knee. And when that muscle is weak, your knee may hurt more, even if it's normal. If it's arthritic, your knee may hurt more if it's weak. And if you can strengthen it, that pain may diminish. And if you have a knee replacement and that muscle is weak, you may have more pain problems swelling. Now, when we do surgery, unfortunately, it results in weakening of the muscle. So if you come in weak to begin with, there is a greater risk of you having problems after that procedure because you're trying to do therapy to strengthen your muscles and your muscle is weak. So there are a number of exercises that you can do and people always ask me like what about diet for inflammation and things like that. Well there's one thing in our diet what we call amino acids or essential amino acids. These are the amino acids that our body cannot produce. We can only get this through certain foods and if you eat a very well balanced diet you will get them all but sometimes it's hard to get all of those nutrients. And what is interesting is a study that was done recently um, that actually won an award, is, which is what caught my attention. And this is the, the perioperative essential amino acid supplementation suppresses rectus femoris muscle atrophy and accelerates early functional recovery total, uh, following total knee replacement. That is a mouthful, but basically if you use this supplement, essential amino acids, around the time of knee replacement surgery, that it not only decreases that weakness or atrophy that you get, but it actually can accelerate your recovery. So um, this was published in the, the Bone and Joint Journal and it won an award and I was looking into it and thought I would share it with you, the viewers, because this is something simple that you can get over the counter and it may actually improve your strength and more importantly, improve your outcome and your recovery. And what was interesting is that when I was reviewing it, there was another study that was almost identical. Um, this was titled Essential Amino Acid Supplementation in patients following total knee replacement. This was by Hans Dreyer, and this was published in 2013 in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. And what they both found was that if you take these over-the-counter essential amino acids, that patients tended to have better strength and less atrophy and better recovery after a knee replacement. So it's one of these things that I do bring up with my patients. Um, I don't recommend it to everybody as of yet. I'm still waiting to see what the response is, but certain patients who look like they have atrophy or are weak or are struggling with deconditioning, these are the people that I do um, bring this up with. And I'm seeing how my patients are doing and a number of them have found it to be very beneficial. So definitely, again, with any medication and even any supplement, talk to your doctor, talk to your surgeon to see if they feel that this is safe for you. What I've recommended is the patients, usually you can buy um, the bottle, um, which is something that you can um, get over the counter. And I'll put the, um, the show notes, um, or in the show notes, I'll put these, these three brands. There's three brands that I recommend. Um, not that I don't know that they're the best. I just know that they're well-known brands that, have, um, that do testing. So I feel that the patients have a greater chance of getting a good, pure product from these three companies. Two are a powder, so you'd scoop it and mix it in with a drink. Um, this is by Thorn and by Pure Encapsulation. The other one is a pill um, by a company called Double Woods, and you can take these. Usually I'll tell patients if I'm seeing them for a pre-op, you know, two, three weeks before surgery, say, hey, you can get this, and when you get it, start taking it. Take it for a 30-day period, and then we can see how you do. But definitely something to think about if you are concerned with regaining strength, if you're weak to begin with, if you're working on strengthening, or maybe you've had knee replacement. And one of the big issues that you're dealing with now is weakness in that quadriceps muscle that may be delaying or inhibiting your recovery. This is one over-the-counter supplement that may be of benefit to you. So again, I'll put the links 
um, in the show notes for those three over-the-counter supplements. Um, I'll also put the links and the information about those articles. They might be a bit confusing, but something that you could read through. Or even if your surgeon um, hasn't seen them and they were interested, you can share that information with them. So thanks again for listening. Um, keep exercising, stay safe. And until next time, I'm Adam Rosen. Thanks for watching. Thank you.